Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another quick little channel CG video. There are a few things I want to get done today, but primarily, I want to try to figure out the whole wheel lock situation with the Durango. I also kind of need a haircut, but uh, maybe I'll get that done today. I don't know. There's two of these on here that I could find. There's this one here, and then there is another one up front here. You guys didn't see the last video that I talked about it in. Durango, it's going to get some new shoes. That's all I'm going to tell you guys for now. I want to keep it a secret and make a little reveal when we finally get everything on the car, but I took it to get that done the other day, and I completely forgot that that car even had wheel locks on it, but when we took it to the place where we were going to have it done, they're like, oh, uh, we can't find the key for your wheel locks and I'm like what I didn't know <laughs> I didn't even know it had them so they couldn't figure out anything to get it off there and they didn't want to torch it or anything try to get it off or break or destroy anything which is understandable so we ended up taking it home and I took it upon myself to try to figure this stupid thing out every place I've researched they said if you don't have a key try just shoving a socket on it like a 20 mil or something just pounding a socket onto it so that you can break it loose and then just get some new nuts so I'm like okay that's what I'm gonna try to do today I'm gonna see if I can get a 20 mil to fit but I don't know I have a couple cheap ones here, so if it does work, I can use it. But it might not work because I think the lug nuts on this are a little bit bigger than your normal car. Because, I mean, after all, at the end of the day, it's technically a truck, so. This is a Stanley 22 mil that I picked up at Walmart a while ago. That's the best place to get a cheap socket. They're only like, I think, two or three bucks there. Oh, that's not quite going to fit almost pound that on actually you know we might as well give it a shot since i have it but i don't think it's going to work on there might have to get something a little bit bigger yeah this would almost work but it's just not quite big enough it's really nice out earlier today but it's starting to get windy now it's really cold like my fingers are already numb but i think i'm going to go ahead and jump in the ptg team we're going to go run a few errands we'll see if we can pick up some cheap sockets that are just a little bit bigger like a 24 mil or 23 mil or something just slightly bigger if we can get one for really cheap i'll pick up a few also i'm going to see if i can get some oil and stuff for the ptg to do a quick change because it's almost at the mileage where it should really be changed at least the car is still somewhat clean i mean it's a little dirty oh yeah and as you can see the direct Durango is hitched up to the trailer. This is our, I believe it's a 16 foot trailer, possibly 18 foot, I'm not sure. This thing is really nice. It's got the dovetail. It works for just about anything. Got it out because yesterday, actually, me and Dean, full throttle Chevy, you guys know who he is. A flash picture up on the screen I took while we were there, but he picked up this awesome welder. It's a big, I forgot exactly what it is. It's a big 20 and it's a four cylinder. It's from 1972. The thing is so cool. He got a smoking deal on it. As you guys know, welding is his thing. So he picked that up. That was a fun little road trip. I'm sure he'll have a video all about it soon on his channel. So if you have not already, be sure and go subscribe to him as well. We got some plans. He'll be in some videos soon. I know you guys have missed seeing him. He will be making a comeback here on CGG soon. But anyways, I'm going to shut my mouth now. Let's go ahead and jump in the PTGT and get this stuff done. Actually, I take that back. Before we go, I'm going to grab one of the lug nuts off of here so I can pick up two new ones. While I'm out and about, maybe stop at Napa. Then we'll have them for when we finally get these stupid lock nuts off. All right, there we go. And of course, right when I go to leave, it starts raining. Why are you like this? Oh, you boys already know I gotta stop here. Oh, guys, look, there's a new... Uh, F pace? It's freaking beautiful. Oh, it's hot. That's a good thing. Come on, boys. Where's my Duncan sponsorship? They're currently behind my cousin Jake, who has this 86 Cadillac. I've been after him for a while. We gotta make a video on it soon. So, boy, I'm shouting you out right now. <laughs> All right, we out here no ding squad at the Walmart. I guess this is our main destination for the day since this is where they have the cheap, or at least the cheapest that I know of, sockets. So hopefully we can find some we can jam on that stupid lock nut and get it off today. The biggest they got in metric is 24, so we'll grab one of them. And we'll grab a one inch too, because why not? Alright, well we're finally done here. Thankfully the rain is starting to die off 
a little bit. This really sucks, like my glasses are all wet, I can't see. <laughs> also, while I was there, I found out they got my favorite kind of Bartle Skeet. They got the good green label Mountain Dew. This stuff is my favorite, and I can't find it any place now, but it turns out that this place has it, and it's actually cheaper, and they have a lot of it. So I got like six cans. I'd crack one open right now, but I still got some Dunkin', so. You always, always gotta stay true to the Dunkin'. Sounds so good. Alright, we are here at the Napa. So I'm gonna run inside and see if they have the lug nuts. Then we're finally good to go. Oh hey, there's a there's an 86. 86 boys, where you at? All right, here we go. These look like they should fit, so we don't have to order them, and we'll have them ready for when we finally get the locks off. All right, I'd say this was a successful errands trip. Now, just a couple miles to home, and uh, we can get to work again. A few inches later. All Please hurry up and open. Thank you. Oh man, this sucks. I did not know it was gonna rain. Well, I take that back. I did know it was gonna rain today, but I didn't think it was going to, to like, late tonight. Nevertheless, I'm still gonna try this out. This is the 24 mil, and that's what we're gonna try first. All right, I think that's gonna do it. That was not the nut spinning, that was the uh, socket spinning. Now I'm starting to have my doubts and wonder if actually a 23 mil would fit on there perfectly. I don't know man, all I know is it's raining harder and harder and this really sucks. I think what I'm gonna do for now is put that nut back on and we're gonna park this trailer because don't think we'll be needing it. We were talking about making a run, getting some lumber because we're gonna be putting some new baseboards in the house. But I don't think that's gonna be happening for a little bit now so might as well go ahead and park this trailer over it on the side there. I guess that's it, then we can pull the PTGT back inside. Now I just gotta repark this old girl. Let's go ahead and back the PTGT in here, get it up on ramps so we can quickly do an oil change. Since this day kind of ended up not being very productive anyways, I wanna at least get that done. thing I forgot to grab today was new windshield wipers. This one here on the driver's side has just started to tear. It's not too bad, it just kind of smudges a little. But actually, these are the original wipers that were on the car when I bought it. And uh, that was two years ago now. Over two years ago now. Those wipers have done me well. I don't know what brand they are or anything, but it's a good wiper. Man, my engine bay needs to be detailed really bad. It's a mess. Winter has taken its toll on it. I need to clean out my K&N filter too. That is just filthy. But anyways, now for the oil change. We're gonna go for a quick little spin through Mexico before it gets dark out because it will be very, very soon.
next step. As you can see, I finally got that haircut. <laughs> Thought about letting it grow out a little bit more this time, but uh, if I let my hair grow out, I will look like Bob Ross. And I mean, God bless Bob Ross, but there's nothing swag about that guy. I figured, you know what, I'm gonna continue this video into another day. I was gonna end it yesterday, but wasn't able to get it finished editing and uploaded today. Actually, part of the reason I wasn't able to finish it was my power went out for like two hours earlier this afternoon, which is kind of random. But I did get a chance this morning to stop back at Walmart and pick up another socket. I got a 23 mil, and we're gonna try to use that now on the lock nut. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. Oh, I think we got it. Finally got it off. <laughs> it is jammed in there though. Hopefully I can figure a way to pound this out so I can take the other one off with the socket. Otherwise, I'd have to just pick up another one for a couple bucks, which would kind of suck because I've already been to Walmart twice. <laughs> Okay, so I did finally get the lock nut off, as you can see, off camera. Decided I might as well try to hit it with the torch for a couple seconds. I pounded it on a little bit, and it finally came out of the socket. The socket itself is already cool, so let's go try to use this on the other one. Oh, we did it. You know, it didn't accomplish anything, but it made me feel better. <laughs> well, I'm glad I waited to make the video because now we can end it on a happy note because I finally got this stupid lock that's off. I wonder if this one's still hot. Ooh, yeah, it is definitely still hot. I had to cool it off so I could make a good thumbnail with it. There we go. That's perfect right there. So I guess we can finally end this video on a positive note. Hold on a second. I'm going to get in the P2GT because it's too windy out here. Okay, here we go. This is a little better. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little vlog style. I guess it was kind of like an afternoon in the life, which I used to do a lot more of, but it wasn't just one afternoon. It kind of ended up being another afternoon as well. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Be sure and smash the thumbs up button. If you do enjoy this style, I always call them afternoon in the life, but they're basically a vlog. I like to do them every once in a while. I think they're fun. Now that we got this straightened out, the Durango will be getting some new shoes very soon. Possibly even the next video you see, although I'm not 100% sure when I'll be able to get it in to have that done but be sure and smash that subscribe button if you have not already to see stuff whenever it comes out here on the channel i got something super 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 exciting coming for the ptgt very unexpected you guys are going to be super surprised and it's gonna be awesome i can't wait to show you guys i don't want to reveal too much but super exciting stuff coming for the ptgt so you're gonna want to be sure and subscribe now if you haven't already because there's a lot of cool stuff coming but again guys thanks for watching this quick little channel cg video you rock God bless and I will see you in the next one.